about the maximum I can achieve by having the linear actuators uh, powered separately, lowering one side completely and extending the other side up completely. Anyways, that's, uh, that's still pretty good, 20 degrees. And it is solid. Uh, so this will be a good position to have the uh, canopy in at uh, dockside um, later in the afternoon or actually any, any time providing I could uh, dock in the right position so I could maximize uh, the solar performance. Next will be to try it on the starboard side and then Run a test uh, not as uh, drastic as this. I'd probably be able to get to 10 degrees uh, running down the river. Uh, you will have to make sure that uh, everything is stable because the uh, guy wires go slack on the one side. Uh, they remain tight uh, for the longitudinal uh, guy wires, but the ones at the front uh, go slack some cleaning up where I uh, just cut that slot out but you can see that the post wants to shift over it has come over um, oh two inches and uh, that's why I needed to cut the slot at the back because the uh, distance between the posts is a little bit further uh, it still came out well, it still came out two inches, but the plate at the back is a little bit bigger. And everything is nice and solid. That's locked in solid. That's even more solid than, uh, you know, when it's in the upright position. So I don't have to worry about guy wires when it's uh, in this position. It's just solid as a rock. I've moved the port side up and uh, stability without touching the guy wires is still, is still pretty good. I would say I could drive this, uh, um, take this down the river and as long as I wasn't hitting uh, uh, heavy gusts of wind and, and heavy waves, I think I'd be perfectly fine. And even still, that's pretty good. That's pretty solid. Um, I would have to look at, for looking out the port side. I would have to duck down just a tad bit. I think this would be okay uh, if the wind was coming from the starboard side. Um, uh, I think it would be okay. It's, it feels solid. Well, more testing is required. I've added two toggle switches. One here and one here. And uh, this controls the port side and this controls the starboard side. And if I flick that down and then uh, push the up down button for the linear actuators, only the port side will move. The starboard side will remain up or down or where, whatever position it is in. And uh, as well as if I flick the starboard side down, then uh, I'll be controlling that starboard side. So if I want to adjust these, the first thing I have to do is bring both sides down a couple of inches. Okay, the reason for that is I have to take the tension off the guy wires and that because when, if this side, if this side lifts up, it will put more tension on the guy wire. So I have to bring it down, uh, set my angle, and then I can uh, tighten that side. Now up. that I have it down a couple inches, I think I will uh, lower the starboard side. So I will flip that switch and start the process of lowering. Just check what the length is. Twenty inches. 
So this is this post at 20 inches. The other post is at 30 inches. And then using some trig, I could calculate uh, that angle. Um, I'm guessing five degrees. But anyways, uh, the guy wires are slackened off on both sides. And you can see the stability is not the greatest right now. It's wobbling back and forth. So I would want to tighten up those guy wires if this was my final position of setting it in. Uh, the other thing is, for docking, no problem. I mean, this is stable enough. But if I want to actually motor with this, set like this, uh, I would need to uh, do something with the guy wires. And I'm... Uh, looking at doing different things. The further I drop it, the further I drop it, the short side is much more and more stable than that. And that's because the uh, the main, I don't know what you call it, the shaft of the linear actuator is starting to go into the tube. And uh, that just becomes stronger and stronger as it as it shortens. So in this position, even though I got the canopy down lower, it's actually more stable. Now, with it this low, if I was to be uh, motoring along, uh, it's actually too low for me. I would have to have my driving position out a little bit and I would not be able to see properly. So I think I would be in a little bit of trouble. Um, stability, yeah, the guy wires need to be tightened up. Right now the guy wires are still pretty loose. And if I wanted to tighten them up, let's just check that out. I will raise the entire canopy until that is tight. Okay, that's pretty tight. Stability is longitudinal wise is is fine. Uh, it's a little bit a uh, little bit wobbly going crisscross. So I would definitely have to do something with the guy wires. And I do have a few ideas. Okay, let's take this all the way down. I'm going to have to lower this port side a little bit. Slacking off the guy wires. All right, let's take the starboard all the way down. Starboard side is all the way down, and uh, of course, this would be for docking position only because I cannot see out that side. And it's Pretty solid. It seemed to be more solid when it was down on the port side. Anyways, for a docking position that would be perfectly fine. Alright. Oh, here's an issue. I didn't see I had the, the uh, seat open. And, uh, of course, now what would happen? Uh, I would have to check to see if I have any interference at the bottom. Hmm. I do have a bit of an interference issue here. I could still open the lid a little bit and get at the switch. But that pushes right against the side when the starboard side is down. And that's probably the same on the uh, port side. Dry wires are... Tense. And that's pretty solid. Alright. Good bit of testing. I will uh, come up with some sort of a, a screw on piece here just to keep the linear actuator from coming out past this edge. Uh, the other thing is I could 
loosen the screws just a tad bit just so that there's a little bit more play in the base so it doesn't put so much strain on the uh, base of the linear actuator. I don't want to break the pin, the, the uh, supporting pin, even though I think I think there is enough play there, but probably be a, a, an idea just to slacken it off a little bit. I'm heading down the Napanee River. It's 20 after 9 in the morning, September 20th. And beautiful, clear skies. It's uh, a bit chilly this morning with uh, a bit of a north wind blowing. Uh, very lightly though. I'm going to try today some um, testing. I want to get down river here uh, into a nice open area where I've got no shading. Uh, because it is early in the morning and uh, the sun is uh, at a low angle still. Um, I want to test with the canopy flat and then uh, tilt it at about 5 degrees, maybe 10 degrees, and uh, see what the performance is. So um, I'll get down river a bit and then uh, try that testing. Do you have mute swans still around? very aggressive. I'm just going very slow. It's 20 to 10. I've on, I'm on the straight stretch that I want to be on and it's bouncing around 224 watts on that one. 166 watts on the other one. Okay. Alright, that's a good angle. It's probably about a oh, little seven degrees or so. Let's see what we're getting. 294 watts on the top, 233 watts on the bottom. So a pretty good increase. I'm going to take it down a little bit further. I wouldn't uh, be motoring normally at, at it any further than uh, this angle. We need to be able to see, but I want to see what want to see what the efficiency is. Okay, that's pretty much all the way down to the gunnel. Pretty good angle. 402 watts, 284 watts. So uh, that really makes a difference. I'm just putting along now and if I were to sit down, would I be able to see out the side? No, I would not be able to see out the side. So uh, that's not a practical uh, angle to have it for motoring maybe for docking so I'll put it up let's see so if I was sitting down yeah I could uh, I could see it the side uh, I don't think I'd ever want it any lower than that for for motoring and I would also want to do something with the guy wires to um, tighten them up I haven't figured that one out the testing with uh, tilting the solar panel and uh, depending on the time of day yeah you're going to get different uh, results and that like I say this is early morning and um, I would be taking uh, when I'm going on a trip I would be leaving it you know early in the morning so um, yeah I would probably tilt the canopy if the sun was on uh, the right side and uh, if it's to the bow or stern uh, it's not going to make any difference so uh, if it's to the port or the starboard side then yeah 
Uh, anyway, so, so that seems to be a successful test. Go back home. 63% state of charge. Right now it's 423 watts and 318 uh, watts. I'm going to tilt the canopy now and maximize the charge. Five hundred and fifty-two, five hundred and fifty-three, and three hundred and ninety-four, three hundred and ninety-five. Pretty good. So that's about nine hundred and forty watts. So a two hundred watt increase. So I'll leave that like that and uh, see if I could uh, fully charged the batteries today. It is two o'clock right now. Uh, I doubt if I can get it to 100% today, but uh, we'll see how close we could get it.